I've been playing about with the LED filament lamp again, but this time I've actually built a resistive dropper and I'm just going to turn the lamp off because it's kind of bright and I'm going to show you the dropper I made. So this is based on an inrush limiting resistor, a bridge rectifier formed from discrete diodes, an electrolytic capacitor, 4.7 megafarad, 400 volt, with a 1 megohm dis discharge resistor across it, and then two 10k resistors in output. And I chose those uh, values after a bit of experimentation. I started off kind of generously with the resistors and output, and then uh, nudged the value down to tune it to what I felt was a sort of the limit of, well, a, a good margin of safety of the rating of these resistors. And I'll, I'll actually draw you the schematic here of what I've done. So, we've got live, 240 volt. We've got neutral. Live is coming in through the current limiting, uh, inrush limiting resistor, and I just chose an arbitrary value of 100 ohm for that. And it goes into the bridge rectifier. And neutral just goes straight in. So that goes into the AC input and the output, plus minus here comes out and it has a electrolytic capacitor across it rated 4.7 microfarad 400 volts and I salvaged that from another light then it's got a discharge resistor of 1 megohm across it Just for safety, it takes uh, means when you turn the power off, it will discharge any residual voltage in this capacitor, which is a good thing because it turns out to sit around about 330 volts in use. So then the output from that goes through two resistors. Could be one resistor, but I chose to spread the load amongst two. And then it goes into the lamp itself, which is just a string of LEDs in the series, quite a lot of LEDs in the series. Now I've got smooth DC, I was actually able to measure the voltage across that. So I've currently got 10k resistors for these two, um, and that pretty much sums it up. The, the bridge rectifier is made from 4 times 1N4007 diodes, and that sums up the whole power supply. Now, I've had this plugged into the power meter, and the lamp was originally running at uh, 4 watts with this little electronic circuit module here, and when I've had it plugged in, it's showing 1.5 watts, and I'll give you a breakdown of the voltages across the circuit. I've been probing about with the meter on this, but I've got them already, so I won't probe about it right now, because it would just you wouldn't see much, because the lamp would be too dazzling. So, the voltage across the capacitor was 336 volts. The voltage across the lamp was 256 volts. The voltage dropped across the resistors was very conveniently 80 volts, but that means there's two of them in series, that there's 40 volts dropped across each resistor. And that means the current flowing in this side of the circuit is... Um, well, it's quite handy that it's uh, it's 10k uh, i equals v over r, so that's 40 divided by 10,000, is that comes out a nice 4 milliamps. So 4 milliamps in this uh, state, and that means the dissipation of the resistors will be 0 0.004, 4 milliamps times the voltage across them, which is 40 volts, equals... 0.16 watts. 0.16 watts. And that's well within their 250 milliwatts. That's 160 milliwatts. And I could theoretically reduce the resistors. I could actually use something like 8K resistors to increase the current up to about 5 milliamps. But um, uh, I, I didn't want to actually go too far. I, I like my components to run cool, but Here's the thing, that's dissipating a total of 0.3 watts for a power shown in the meter of approximately 1.5 watts. So when you scale it up to the 4 watts the original circuit showed, 
it indicates that this little chip was theoretically dissipating one watt. And it looks really small for, I mean, it's possible it could be dissipating one watt of power um, running the lamp at that full output. But I wonder if, because these have um, thermal regulation in them, if they get too hot, they automatically limit the current down. So it starts off high and then it trails away. One test I didn't try with this circuit board, and I could hook the lamp up and try it again, but one test I didn't try was just to leave it on and see if the power goes down as the lamp warms up, because it may be that the lamp starts off at full brightness and then gradually drops as this heats up. Not 100% sure about that, because as far as I know, this is just purely a resistive uh, regulator. It just Well, it, not an actual resistor as such. It's a programmable current regulator, but it's analog, so it, it actually dissipates any excess as, as heat, as far as I know. But there we go, this is uh, about, I mean, it's not the most minimalist approach. If you're going to be really cheap and nasty, you could replace the bridge with a single diode, but I don't really approve of things like that. And the capacitors, the electrolytic is needed for reducing flicker, but it shows that even in 240 volts, when you're dropping such a high voltage across the LED filaments themselves, it shows that, you know, using resistors, to actually limit the current suddenly becomes a viable option. Suddenly, the circuitry gets so simple when you do that. I'm going to plug the lamp in again. The voltage drifts a little bit, as you'd expect. I'm going to actually go and prove some of these voltage for, for voltages for you, in fact. So I'll just stick the meter here. Are you going to be able to see that? I'm uh, not sure, actually, because the lamp is quite bright. Tell you what, I'll put the lamp out of frame just to try and uh, make the meter more visible. Is that going to help much? Yeah, that should do it. So, um, measuring the voltage across the capacitor while trying not to short the capacitor because that would make a very loud bang indeed. Um, and lots of sparks. So, going across the output of that, the voltage is 300 and... Oop. 335, yep, pretty close to what it was before. The voltage across the lamp, I'm going to measure from here, another side of the resistors, is 256. 256, just off the, just as a quick thing, 256 divided by, say, 3 volts. I can't remember how many lamps I said was in it. Oop. 256 divided by 3 equals 85 divided by 4 filaments 20, did I say about 21 chips per filament or was it, a wee, I think it was a wee bit more wasn't it? Hmm, close though um, What else can I measure here? The, the voltage across each of the 10k resistors is the voltage being dropped Although I should be able to work that out from the other one, but it's roughly 40 volts. Yeah, 39.2. So there you go. Yeah. Interesting. Yep, I like the fact that these uh, lamps are so easy to drive that you can physically just use discrete components out your component bin, no integrated circuits or anything. And it's efficient. I mean, this lamp is so bright. It's using so much of the power for light. It's, it's very good. Uh, yeah, these filament lamps are just, they're my latest thing. I'm going to have to get some more of these.